Hey guys, I hope you're having an awesome day. So I know I posted my comeback video and you guys are probably like, what, is she even coming back? Cause she hasn't posted anything after. The end of last month, beginning of this month, we actually had a whole bunch of stuff uh, that we were working on. We actually helping plan a haunted house and then I was doing all the graphics for that, the t-shirts, flyers, social media graphics and stuff. And then we just had our uh, three year wedding anniversary. So uh, it was kind of busy. I was like, oh crap, I just said I'm coming back. and then that happens but I'm here so I just want to do a quick little video today showing you this lip color this is my first time wearing it I've been looking for a lip color like this for a while actually something that's kind of deep uh, you know for like fall but it has a metallicness to it but it's not really like a brownish shade uh, I bought another color that seemed like it was gonna be like this but then it was basically uh, brown when I applied it but this one actually looks a lot closer to how it does in here so yay so this is from that wet and wild fire and ice collection this is the wet and wild mega last liquid catsuit metallic lipstick and it's in the color red leans and so the packaging is gold and it has a little flames for the fire uh, but it's a very pretty color I like it a lot I had seen people do reviews and stuff and they said that it was very streaky for them. Uh, I'll give you my, my feedback on that. So when I applied it, it was definitely a lot more sheer than any of the other catsuit liquid lipsticks that I had tried, but I was able to build it up to this. You can see that, you know, I was able to bring it up to an opaque finish, but I did have to apply it in thin layers and layer up upon itself. So I wouldn't say it was four layers or anything like that. I think it was just mainly two layers and then there was certain areas like right by the cupid's bow or right here towards the edges where I needed to put a little bit more of a, a very light layer to really make it opaque. But this is how it looks. So I'm excited and I'm gonna be wearing it for the rest of the day and hopefully it does not flake off because I had to layer up like that. But I really, really like the finish so I wanted to show it to you guys. Have you guys been trying any of the new Wet n Wild products that have been coming out? They've been coming out with so many collections now, but I haven't been, I don't know, purchasing anything unless I like really, really want it. I've just been missing out on all these collections. <laughs> but if you've tried anything, whether it's from this line or any of their other lines recently, let me know. I did buy, what was it? I actually have one of the palettes for me that I bought from them. This one, that is the Wet n Wild. Did I rip off the name? That would totally be something I would do. But it's this purple one right here. Yeah, I ripped off the name. And it was, I wasn't too happy with it. I thought it was a little bit powdery. And then this color right here, it just wasn't like the smooth, buttery texture that I remember, you know, that like comfort zone was or anything. It's all right. And that kind of makes me a little bit afraid to try any of their newer palettes. The ones that have, what is it like? Like eight colors. The ones that, you know, they redid comfort zone and some of the other ones. I'm like, ah, is it going to be like the same quality eyeshadows like that? And they're harder eyeshadows too. They're not as soft as the other ones that I remember. Let me know if you've tried any of those and what your thoughts were on them. But that's it for right now. Hope you guys are having an awesome day. I will see you guys all soon. All right. Bye.